Hello, check this out. In my aim to be able to stick two near end pick and place machines next to each other and have clearance for cables and stuff coming out, but not waste 500 millimeters on a conveyor to be able to get board from one side to the next side. This is obviously just a conveyor, but imagine there's another pick and place sitting here. On my stream this morning, I was looking at making my own custom conveyors that I could do narrow ones. 250 or 300 millimeters long. The shortest you can buy from China or from anywhere really is 500 millimeters, which is too long. I don't have that much space on my line. So what I did was instead, I 3D printed these conveyor extenders. Unfortunately, firstly, this one on this side, those two holes, they're in a slightly different position on that side. I measured on that side. So I had to redrill these holes out so, which made it a little bit loose, a bit hard to align. Also trying to get this on when I still had the side panel on, that thing down there, trying to squeeze my arm inside there with a screwdriver. I was actually leaning my wrist on this, pushing it, and I kind of bent it out of shape a bit. So I need to reprint another one. Sorry, I just got my finger caught on the moving conveyor. <laughs> I'll turn that off. Um, so I need to reprint another one, but in the meantime, I've put a shim in there just to straighten it back up again. So these are attached and it moves obviously, with the width of the pick and place machine. So I never have to worry about how wide it's gonna be. And all I have to do is make sure it's short enough that it can pass my board from one conveyor to the next. Imagine that's the uh, pick and place machine. So if I just reset that, if I click on it board advance to get the board out, the board comes and it passes it through, just like that. Oh, and falls off the edge. So that solves my problem. It's short, it's 100 millimeters. I've saved a stack of space, right? The conveyors I've got here right now are 600s. So that's 500 millimeters, half a meter I've saved off the length of my production line. And these are just printed in PLA. They're kind of smooth. It just slides along. If I ever need to put Teflon on, I can just lower this by like 0.2 millimeters, put some Teflon tape on. Or ultimately, I will, once I've got the design dialed in, I'll get them machined. Either overseas, oh, bang the camera. Either overseas or um, I might even get myself a CNC machine finally and learn how to do it because I'll have enough space now. Now, what's even better is that there, 100 millimeters, perfect, on the inside of the first pick and place machine, right now I have a 600 millimeter conveyor to go from the stencil printer to the pick and place machine. I do want to have something here so I can move this screen out the way and lean in to in inspect. But I don't need this much width. Right? I know it looks narrow, but I don't need this much. I could happily do 400 millimeters here instead of 600 or 300 even. I just need to be able to lean in and see it. So I can do the same thing here on the entry. I can put machined versions here, 300 millimeters long or 400 millimeters long. If they're machined, they're not going to warp, they're not going to bend. And what I can do, because obviously the PCB won't slide along it, I can just stick some NEMA 8 steppers on it and just do something like this. It doesn't have to be able to change width because it does it automatically because of the pick and place machine. It'll be locked to wherever the pick and place is. And I don't need sensors because it's not going to store a board. It's going to do a pass through from the sensor printer to the pick and place machine. This will just act as a, a passive conveyor it doesn't need a store board on there, so no sensors, and it just needs to rotate to push along. Or I can put a sensor on there that'll only rotate if it sees a bit, uh, board going through, otherwise it'll just burn the stepper out. Anyway, the point is, I can attach them to the sides, they don't need any other support. That's what these, these screws are designed for, for extensions for longer PCBs. So I don't need to actually reinvent the conveyor at all. So if I save myself, 200 here and 500 here, that's an extra 0.7 of a meter that I've now removed from the end of the line and added onto my dirty area. So that is fantastic. That is a massive win. And all it took was some 3D printed parts. How wicked. Catch you later.